with meteorologist Jason Sadeko. Jason, some rain this week and possibly some severe weather. Yeah, we got chances for some of the stronger storms come uh, later in the week here. Uh, but thankfully, next couple days not looking too bad. Uh, I know today was warm, it was humid, just kind of had that sticky factor that you usually see when we're talking storms, but just had pop up showers and storms out there today. Marshalltown not looking bad right now. Looking out at Creston too. Again, they've had uh, decently strong winds, flags moving around out there pretty well. And in Algona, you can see strip lit up at this point, but a pretty quiet night has shaped up for us. 71 is where we sit. Uh, it's got a few clouds roaming around out there, but still Pretty nice night. Winds out of the south southeast nine miles an hour. That dew point still in the middle 60s. So air is still a little bit thick and got some ground clutter on the radar. Otherwise, any showers up off to the northeast at this point. So we're working into a pretty quiet night right now, at least uh, around the metro as we head throughout the day tomorrow. 83 for Ankeny, mostly cloudy skies. And we work our way throughout the day and well, we'll keep those clouds with us for most of that. And those temperatures again back up into the low to mid 80s into the afternoon. 84 for the metro and perhaps a, a straggling shower off to start the day there. Otherwise, we head in towards the afternoon. Could again be talking about some hit or miss stuff, but really looking at a pretty decent day out there for us. Let's track things out for you. You can see some clouds early on in a decaying system works its way in from the west. So that kind of shifts on out of here. And we still hang on to the clouds into the afternoon, but notice more showers and more thunderstorms up off to the northwest into tomorrow evening. Could see a stronger storm embedded in that. Largely going to be northwest of Fort Dodge, though. So that system continues to track to the east. And then into Tuesday, we'll have more chances for showers and thunderstorms. Uh, mainly central southern portions of the state as a line makes its way on through. But for tomorrow, that main area that could see some potential uh, damaging winds and maybe even some hail would be off through that northwestern portion of the state. So again, odds are pretty low with this. It is a marginal risk area as it's called, but there's still a chance. Uh, it's 68 degrees tonight. Uh, breeze out of the south at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And tomorrow we are back up. It's going to be warm. It's going to be a little bit sticky again. 84 is what we're talking for a high again. Those chances for a few showers and thunderstorms later on into the evening to the northwest. 84 for Ames, Indianola at 83, Corning coming in at 81, as well as Audubon. 82 for Algona, Fort Dodge at 82 areas uh, to the northeast in the middle 80s as well. And to the southeast, mostly cloudy skies. We're talking low to mid 80s there as well as we hang out with the warmth for a little bit longer. Again, better chances for showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday and we head in towards the middle of the week. Wednesday's really not looking bad. Probably one of the better days out of the next eight. Uh, chances for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. A day we'll have to watch. Could see some strong to severe storms that day. Well, look at the temperature drop here. We're down in the 70s on Thursday, 60s on Friday with highs warming back into the middle 70s by Sunday.